Konnichiwa Minasan. Hello friends, how are you? Welcome to Saril Japani YouTube channel, the channel of Japanese language learning. Today is lesson 27, occupations. What do you do? And negative of this. In today's lesson, we shall be looking at some common occupations in Japanese and then learn how to ask someone about his occupation. And finally, we shall learn how to answer this question either in affirmative or negative. So occupation, the word occupation can be translated to Japanese as shokugyo. So shokugyo means occupation in Japanese. So now let's look at some of the very common occupations in Japanese. Isha. Isha means doctor. Shikai, dentist. Angoshi is for nurse. And Kangofu is also for nurse, but it represents the feminine gender. So a female nurse is called Kangofu. So Kangoshi is the current and politically more correct term. And Kangofu was in use earlier. It has a feminine gender attached to it. So in present day, uh, this word is avoided since it is a kind of a sexist word. So Kangofu is not used. Kangoshi is the correct word and acceptable word for nurse. Then we have Gaksei. Gaksei means student. We have Sensei for teacher. So we have Kyoshi also for teacher. So what is the difference between Sensei and Kyoshi? Kyoshi means teacher and it is used to refer to oneself. So this means if you are yourself a teacher and you want to tell your uh, occupation or profession to someone, then you will introduce yourself as Kyoshi. That is Watashiwa Kyoshi Des. And if you are referring to some other teacher, in that case, you will be using the word Sensei. So Sensei, both Kyoshi and Sensei means teacher. But Kyoshi is used to refer oneself and Sensei is used to refer to another teacher or another person who is a teacher. So this is very important. When we talk about ourselves, if I am a teacher, then I will not introduce myself as Sensei. Others will call me Sensei. I will call myself Kyoshi. Next we have Kagakusha, which means a scientist. Kenkyuin, researcher. Koshi, which is lecturer. Kyoju, a professor. Kaishain. Kaishain means a normal office going employee or a corporate employee. So anyone who is working, who is going to the office for normal uh, uh, administrative work or any kind of work. So in general, this is a very general word, Kaishain, which represents an office employee. So this word is very frequently used in day to day Japanese life. Kaishain. Engineer. So here you can see this is written in Katakana. So the English word engineer has been adopted in Japanese as engineer. However, there is a Japanese term called Gishi, which also means engineer and it is a very uh, a broader term Gishi which includes engineer, a technician or any technologist. So this is a very generic and broad term. And if you want to refer to a specific engineer, then this engineer may be used, which is in Katakana since it is a foreign word. Otherwise, Gishi is a generic term for any engineering or technical person. Astronaut, how again this is uh, Katakana. Asutoro Notto. Astronauto. So this is astronaut. So we have discussed this in detail in our Katakana lessons. So you may refer to those lessons if you want to understand how these words are formed. Then we have pilot of the plane, which is again Katakana, Pairotto. So the rules that govern the uh, conversion of English words into Katakana for these, we have done several lessons, so you may go back there. Pairotto. 
or uh, the captain of the plane is also called kicho in japanese so this is written in hiragana kicho so both are correct so you see for engineer we have a japanese word gishi and also the english word engineer and similarly the pilot of the plane or the captain may be called kicho in japanese or pairotto uh, as imported from english then we have air hostess which uh, again in katakana it is air hostess next is bioshi which is uh, a hairdresser or a beauty artist so this word you will find in the saloons or in the beauty parlors then we have similar word rihat sashi rihat sashi is again a barber or a hairdresser and also tokoya is used sometimes for barber and uh, in general tokoya is used for the barber's shop so it is it can be used both for the barber himself or the shop but rihat sushi is specifically for a barber or a hairdresser daiku daiku is a carpenter and a woodsman who cuts woods in the forest is kikori nomin is a farmer and reoshi is a fisherman or a hunter so these are some common occupations next is from the field of arts that is kashu is a singer senshu is a player it may be any a player of any sports so the you have to prefix that sports in in play in in front of senshu kaka is a painter or an artist geijutsuka is an artist in general geijutsuka shashinka is a photographer shashinka kaka is a writer or an author you binyasan is a postman you binyasan sakanayasan is a fish seller as you know sakana is for fish and sakanaya is for the fish shop and sakanayasan is the fish seller or the person who is handling that fish shop nikuyasan is a butcher kekan is a policeman and keisatsukan is a police officer keisatsukan police officer next we have shoboshi as a firefighter hisho a secretary so this is again a generic term for secretary of any kind at the office so kaishain was a, a office employee was an office employee and the secretary is hisho shufu is a homemaker that is a housewife then we have bengoshi as the lawyer and saibankan as the judge so these are some of the very common occupations and professions which we discussed and the hiragana of these you should be able to read this by now since we have been uh, learning all these things for a for quite some time now so do practice these words not only verbally but also by writing them down so that you become fluent in both reading and writing so with this background of the occupations net uh, uh, next uh, let's move on to the sentences related to occupation so first one is the question if someone asks you what do you do or what is your occupation so how do we ask this question in japanese what do you do what is your occupation so the japanese equivalent of this is go shokugyo wa nan desu ka go shokugyo wa nan desu ka so if you see here the matching of the colors you will know which word represents what so go to begin with go is an honorary prefix which we have discussed in our chapter on honorary prefixes or the the um, the honorific titles in one of the previous chapter so do do go through that video if you haven't done yet so that you understand 
why and how these are used. So go shokugyo. So shokugyo, as we discussed in today's lesson, that it's uh, it means occupation. So go shokugyo. So go is used in place of you. Since we don't know the name of the person uh, whom we are talking to, so in that case, instead of using anatha for you, we learned about anatha in the last lesson. So as I told you in the last lesson that anatha is not uh, a very polite word to be used in sentences or in uh, normal conversations. So one should avoid the use of anatha. So instead of using anatha, we can just use an honorific title go in front of the word. So go shokugyo wa is the particle. None means what? So none and this, you know, already this is the verb. So do or is it represents this and ka is the question mark. So instead of this question mark, we use ka particle in Japanese. So go shokugyo wa nan desu ka means what do you do or what is your occupation? Go shokugyo wa nan desu ka? So this is the question. Go shokugyo wa nan desu ka? So how do we answer that? I am an engineer. So this means you know this very well. Watashi wa engineer desu. So this sentence structure you are already aware because we have discussed this several times and engineer comes from today's lesson from the list of occupations that we just discussed. I am an engineer, watashi wa engineer desu. I am a doctor, watashi wa isha desu. So the answer is familiar to you because we have discussed this sentence structure, but the question here is more important. Go shokugyo wa nan desu ka? What is your occupation? So next is another type of asking the occupation of a person. So if we know the name of the person, then we can also ask like this. Mr. Tanaka, are you a student? So in the previous uh, slide, what we discussed was what is your occupation? Someone is asking you what is your occupation? And here it is. We are, it, it, the question is asked in a different way. That is Mr. XYZ, are you a student? So how do we ask this? Tanaka-san wa gakusei desu ka? Tanaka-san wa gakusei desu ka? Tanaka-san wa gakusei desu ka? Gakusei means student. And uh, here you can see that we have written anata in bracket. So anata means you. So this may be avoided. So you can directly say Tanaka-san wa gakusei desu ka? Or you can say Tanaka-san anata wa gakusei desu ka? So anata is a redundant word. That means you. So if you are talking to someone, then it is implied that you are talking to him and you are asking him. So this anata word may be uh, excluded. So to understand, for the sake of understanding, we have included here, but anata is generally not used. So Mr. Tanaka, are you a student? Tanaka-san wa gakusei desu ka? And Tanaka-san replies, yes, I am, which means hi, so this. So this we have discussed in the last lesson as well. Hi, so this. Yes, I am. Yes, it is. That means, yes, I am a student. Or you can say, no, I am not a student. So this is very, very important. Please pay attention to this. Ie, watashi wa gakusei dewa arimasen. Ie means no. Ie, no. I am is watashi wa. Not a student. Gakusei dewa arimasen. So dewa arimasen is a polite negative form of this. This means uh, this is the to be verb, which is in affirmative sense. And deva arimasen is a polite version to deny something. That is just the negation of the this verb. So gakusei deva arimasen means not a student. So this is a complete sentence. No, I am not a student. And if you just, you, you can also just uh, uh, say the phrase not a student, then it will be gakusei dewa arimasen. No, I am not a student. Ie watashi wa gakusei dewa arimasen or ie gakusei dewa arimasen or simply 
gakse devarimasen so this is how you say uh, no followed by the negative sentence deva arimasen so you must remember this deva arimasen both de and va are particles and arimasen is the verb so let's uh, look at some more uh, facts about deva arimasen so this is the deva arimasen is the polite negative marker of the predicative as i just told you to make a sentence ending with this into a negative sentence we change this to deva arimasen watashi wa kagakusha deva arimasen kagakusha means scientist we saw in today's lesson so watashi wa kagakusha deva arimasen means i am not a scientist watashi wa kagakusha deva arimasen i am not a scientist now there are two more forms of negation that is deva arimasen is the polite version so there are two more ja arimasen and janai des so this is deva arimasen ja arimasen and janai des so let's see what are these two so both means the negative of des that means deva arimasen ja arimasen and janai des both all these three represents the negative of des deva arimasen is more formal whereas ja arimasen and janai des are used casually so these are informal so when you are into a more formal uh, conversation you must use deva arimasen for example at office or talking to a stranger you should use deva arimasen or at the store or in the market and ja arimasen and janai des may be used casually between friends or family members generally who are younger to you deva arimasen is like is not in english while ja arimasen and janai des are like isn't so this is a casual approach of saying the same thing next is few examples using deva arimasen ja arimasen and janai des so this is watashi wa nomin deva arimasen which means i am not a farmer watashiwa no min deva arimasen i am not a farmer watashiwa kei satsukan ja arimasen watashiwa kei satsukan ja arimasen means i am not a police officer watashiwa bengoshi janai des watashiwa bengoshi janai des means i am not a lawyer so all these three sentences gives almost the same the same meaning that is i am not so and so but the difference is that the first one is deva arimasen which is formal and polite ja arimasen is casual and janai des is also casual and finally watashi wa shufu des watashi wa shufu des means i am a homemaker so this is in affirmative whereas the first three are in negative so this is all about today's lesson friends we discussed about some important and some common occupations in japanese we learned about uh, many of those words which you should be practicing and then we discussed about how to ask someone his occupation in two ways one is what is your occupation or how what do you do and the other way is mr so and so are you a engineer are you an engineer are you a doctor and then how do we reply to this question in affirmative and in negative so i hope you have understood the content of today's lesson and we shall be back again in lesson 28 with some new topic till then goodbye mata imasho